So we're at it with Captain Cody Dunn. Mm -hmm. Cody Dunn's using some really fancy knives. I really like yeah. these knives. Yeah. Danko's. Danko's. So he's this is the cool little, just show you real quick. This is one of the new things that I got. Those three of my fillet knives. Got this little shorty there. They're beautiful knives. These things, they hold their edge so well. I've been using them for several years. I'm pro staff by them now, but I recommend them to everybody. I've sold a ton of them. Just, a, just an awesome knife. They hold their edge well. They sharpen easy. They don't get chips in the blade like other knives. Like the, one with the bones? The, the ones with the red handles? Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, no can't be. I've got one that looks like a serrated edge. Really? Painted red fish, yeah. So, and there are several others that are kind of the top guys, but these guys hold their edge well. They don't chip. Lifetime warranty on them. Very good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> With the Danco. With the Danco. Yeah, I've cleaned a bunch of them so far. We're down yeah. to the last part of them, I guess. So, um, a lot of people don't realize that on, on Sheep's Head, they have this little flap of skin right here. Normally, I'm just doing this for the video. Normally, I'll poke a couple of scales out like that, get my knife started, and then go in like that. But you can go, if you want to be sneaky and keep your knife sharp, and go right in that slat and then it just makes it a lot easier really just start it like that yeah yeah you don't have to cut through all them scales so i just go through there like that i come back down pressing and go wing my knife kind of like the others that we kind of showed you just kind of go through cut through a bone come around i kind of make a little circle there's a little tenderloin right there then i angle my knife blade the ribs are kind of angled like that so i angle my knife blade to the rib now they're, the ribs are ending, so I change my knife angle to that. I go kind of to the butt hole. Hate to say that, sorry. That's so what let's it do is. that. You better look out because you're going to get cut. I know, I see that see? now. Yeah, so we just kind of go down, go down. These things are really hard to clean, like everybody says. They are so hard to clean. I can clean one in under two minutes. But, I mean, he's, I don't see why everybody says these are hard to clean. I mean, look. How is this hard, what I'm doing right here? This hard? So that's the side. I mean, that was less than a minute probably, I don't know. So, broke my spot. Tube I need to clean. Yeah, whatever. Go down to there, go down the rib cage, turn the corner, cut that out. Halfway done already. What are that? 30, 25 seconds. Look how pretty that meat is. Snow white. A little bit left there. Not much. Oh. Oh. Let him go. And same thing. Go down through there. Rid of the pin bones, feed the birds. Look how pretty that meat is. One of the best eating fish in the ocean. People throw them away, say they're a trash fish because they're too hard to clean. Am I am I struggling to clean this fish? No. Easy. Makes me so mad. All these people say they're hard to clean. They they just heard that through other people. They never tried to clean one themselves. This is this is not hard. Easier than redfish every single time. And we're done. How long did that take? Not long at all. If you've warmed up, I'll get one here pretty quick. Warmed up.
Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Headbutt. Don't forget the pin. You had to pin say bone. that, did you? Don't forget the pin bone. I was trying to skip that because I was trying to good, do a good time there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, great time. <laughs> All right, so I just got bit by a pelican right there. I was holding a red filet in my hand, and uh, one of these jerks did it. Was it you? Was it you? My hand was beside, by my side, and someone reached up and bit the heck out of me, and they all attacked the filet, but I don't know which one it was. I think it was that one. More aggressive ones, it's probably closer. Hey everybody, what's up? I told you, you a little sucker. I hear I was thinking y'all was cute. Ah, a bunch of dummies. Heads flying up. He's cleaning the fish, and we have a bunch of beggars. Beggars? All the mags. They were pretty developed. Y'all want some meat? Get out of here. Y'all ain't getting nothing. Y'all already bit me. 